Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I'm sorry if the lighting's kind of off. Um, it's kind of dark and gloomy today. It's Christmas and um, it's snowy and cloudy and so I don't have the best lighting. So I do have a light on. So hopefully you guys can see me better. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of get ready with you guys. So, you know, just sit tight and enjoy and I'll kind of go through my routine or, you know, what I'm doing right now specifically. Okay, right, I'm going to start out with this. I think I'm enjoying this. This is the Oil Control Pore Minimizing Serum. I already moisturized this morning. I think I did. And then I'm going to go ahead and use two drops over my face. Maybe, may have been too much. You definitely don't need that much. Primer, I'm just gonna use, that's like kind of oil controlling the serum. So I'm just gonna use a pore minimizing one. That one says it's pore minimizing, but I don't think it really does anything. Um, but this one does. Um, okay, it doesn't do anything. I don't think it does anything for the pores. I think it is oil controlling this e.l.f. serum. I just don't think it does anything for my pores so I'm gonna use my favorite um L'Oreal Magic Perfecting base on my uh, trouble areas just whatever's left over my finger just rub it into my forehead and that is it for that one now I have a really bad um complexion issues not too much but I'm going to go ahead and use my NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I'm just going to use that where I need it. I need to get a darker shade in this, but I kind of don't want to because this one works for what I need it for. It's not my perfect shade, but I like to spot conceal before my foundation. So. So there is that. With that same brush, I'm just going to lightly kind of blend out the areas that I use concealer. Okay, and now for foundation, I'm going to use my favorite right now. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Fawn 3.0. Or 3W15. Um, the only reason I've been using this foundation a lot is just that there's, it's just really, it's a really good shade for my skin tone. Or I mean, it's a really good match for my skin tone. So I don't have to like mix it. I don't have to like really deal with it very much. It's like my perfect color, so. I'm just gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape just a little bit just to brighten a little bit all over my face and then with the sponge kind of blend it out looking a little crazy right now um, I'm gonna go ahead and use I've been wanting to use this Fenty Glow Cream blush so that's what we're going to use today this looks so pretty i'm just going to grab the base of my sponge and dip into the shade and just tap it on my cheeks and it's really really sheer mm. It's 
definitely there. Definitely more sheer than I would have wanted. Okay, that's fine for now. Let me go ahead and um, press out my creases before I set them. For powder, I'm just going to use my Laura Mercier powder. Laura Mercier is my favorite powder ever. I have a ton of these minis I'm just trying to go through before I open a big one again. I'm just going to set a first my under eyes because it will crease up again if I don't set them. Like they are already creasing up, oh my goodness. And then I just powder them. I did add a little bit of concealer to my eyelid just to prep it for eyeshadow. And then I'm going to set my whole face. I'm going to use my It Cosmetics powder brush. All my brushes are clean today, so super, super nice to have clean brushes. Mm -hmm. This is my all-time favorite powder, if I haven't mentioned that before. It's just so amazing. It's very, very expensive, though. It's not worth it. I mean, not full price. I always buy it during the Sephora 20% off sale, or now Ulta has them. Ulta has Laura Mercier, so I've been buying my powders from them now on. From now on. Ah, from Ulta, so. It's just a, such, such a good powder. I didn't cream bronze, I should have, but. Bronzer, I'm just going to use this e.l.f. Sunkiss bronzer. Um, for no particular reason other than that it was just sitting here on my vanity. I just, it is a really good bronzer though. Just clarifying. I mean, that is just flawless. It is just a really easy bronzer to work with. Look at that. So, so easy. Whatever is left on my brush, I just kind of run it down my chin. Mm, sometimes I'll add a little bit more just to conceal that double chin. And then I run it down the sides of my nose, just a little bit of bronzer just to tone down my bulbous nose. All right, so that brush sheds, and I always forget that, so I'm just going to grab my powder brush and kind of brush away the flyaways. I wasn't crazy about that blush or the Fenty blush. I just want a little more blush. <laughs> so I am going to use this Morphe Duo Fiber Brush, and then with this Shiso LA from Pratchett Ta. They're actually really similar shades. I keep forgetting to try the um, cream bronzer in, or cream blush in this. Ooh, that is so much better. That was more of what I was looking for. I like a nice intense blush. So just run it down my nose. Ooh. And then now, a highlight. I'm going to grab this um, Dual Care brush. And then I'm going to go into this Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter Palette. This was the holiday palette from last year. I saw it at TJ Maxx and I picked it up because it has my favorite shade ever, the Sparkling Peach. Peach. And this is my favorite shade. I haven't tried these other shades. Um, but I love the formula of this, so I'm going to go ahead and dip into my favorite shade in this golden shade, which is Gilded Gold. So this was only $13, guys. This is like a $40 highlight. And I get three of them in this one. And it's so intense, you only need a tiny amount. You don't need a ton of... 
a ton of highlight. My brush is really clean, so I think it's kicking up more than it would normally kick up. But just look at that highlight, though. So good, guys. This is such a really good highlighter. Worth every penny. I mean, well, it's really expensive, but worth every penny. Oh, oh my God. It is blinding and not for the faint of heart. It's so good. Look at that, guys. Oof, so good. I like to add some right here. Just whatever was left of my brush. I don't actually, like, highlight this area. Just, just a little bit of shimmer. Just in this area. Just the tiniest amount. I really don't enjoy doing my Cupid's bow either. Just, whew, look at that glow. For eyeshadow, we're just going to throw it back. I'm going to use the Tati Beauty palette just because I was kind of vibing with the Persona palette. Really quick, let me show you. I'm kind of vibing with it, but I'm like, this has really similar shades but more colors. So I'm just going to go into here just because I want a little more flexibility. I don't want to use like five eyeshadow palettes. I just want to go into one and be done. So I'm going to go into the shade Soothe, just this, this middle kind of the matte metallic one not the not the pure matte one go in with the e22 brush from morphe you just add that there i'm going to build it up a little bit more i do want it i want it like really natural and smoked out but not like not i still want it visible obviously Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's. Um. This matte has a little bit of shimmer in it, and since it's Christmas, I think that that kind of you know, it'll be fine. It'll be perfect and extra and just beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's shimmer in there. It's so pretty. Okay, now I want to go a little bit deeper, so I need a smaller brush. I grab the E18 and I go into Ritual. Go into Ritual and then just kind of deepen out my outer V. Oof. I am taking the matte mat of Ritual to deepen out my outer V. Mm -hmm. really smoking that out went really darker didn't I for so much for a light natural looking eyeshadow color or eyeshadow look okay now I'm going to dip into the matte soothe that same brush I'm going to run that on my lower lash line On that previous brush, um, the E27, E22, I'm going to grab a little bit of Soothe and Ritual. Ooh, Ritual is really pigmented. I'm going to kind of blend out this outer corner a little bit just to kind of make it married to each other a little bit. Sorry, it's a little windy out, guys, so, so sorry if you're hearing those noises. Marrying these two shades. Okay. It's fine. I'm overthinking it. Okay, now for shimmer. Ooh. I go into the shade Soothe. Just on my finger, and then I'm gonna put that on the inner half of my eye. These are very creamy, pretty colors, by the way. They're just not anything revolutionary they're just really easy to work with though and then on the other eye I'm gonna need a brighter shade for the inner corner I can use that highlight from earlier I can do that 
And then let me clean off my finger. I'm gonna grab a little bit of Ritual, the brown shimmer, and then put it right here to blend it out a little bit. Just to kind of blend those shades together to the deepness. To the outer V, I mean. Just so it's not just just to tone it down a bit. Just, um, adding a little more blend to it. Are they even? I feel like this one's a little bit darker. Okay, let me clean this off. I think that one's a little bit darker. I'm gonna go into Ritual a little bit and kind of go over my outer V to make sure they're kind of more even. Which on camera, I think they look even. I'm just overthinking it. Of course. Now I'm going to grab a tiny brush. This is a Morphe Jaclyn Hill J39. And I'm done with this palette. I'm going to go back into my highlighter, my, like, my Lancome palette. And then pick up the shade. Oops. Um, I'm going to do the same shades. These the peach and the gilded gold. Just very lightly. And then I'm going to place that right there. Same colors I used on my cheeks. Right there. Okay. That is great. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and finish off my eyes and I will be right back for the lips. Okay, I know I look a little crazy. Um, I just did my brows. I used my Urban Decay brow blade, but I only used the pencil side. And then I used my ColourPop, oh there it is, my ColourPop brow gel in a light brown. Um, I leave my brows like this sometimes, like really like Wolverine and brushed up. Just so it gets that like lift and then I'll comb through it and calm it down. So right now, bear with me. Um, um, yeah, they look a little crazy. So I added a little bit of wing liner, just a tiny amount, just to kind of deepen the mascara that we're about to apply right now. Um, I did curl my lashes as well. Um, oh my god. I just like to curl my lashes one last time before applying mascara. After my liner has dried. So the mascara I'm going to use today is the Essence Lash Princess. Wanted to use my Thrive Cosmetics lash extension, but that one's a little heavier on the lashes. So it will weigh them down a little bit more than this one. Because, I mean, it is a tubing mascara. It literally does weigh more, so to be fair, you know. But I did want a little more... Um, lift so I'm using a more light mascara hopefully this one will not let me down I love this mascara but um, it usually doesn't give me the same volume I want from other mascara the volume I get from other mascaras I mean so it's so pretty this eye is definitely a lot prettier than this eye why is this happening? It's just the lash curler for whatever reason. Curls this eye prettier than the other eye. I don't know. I don't know why. Okay. So that is that. I'm going to add some to my lower lash line. I also did add some uh, lower eyeliner. I just used my Koki Cosmetics pencil in bronze. One of my favorite eye pencils ever. So really subtle, subtle deepness. It's not intense at all. But it does show up, so. But it's just like a hint, like a little kiss of color. It's so, so nice, so. Mm. I got mascara on my lash line. Kind of brushing it away with the pencil. Okay, I feel like this eye looks better than this eye now. 
at least the lower lash line. Come on. Even out, a little clumpy, a little extra. Okay. Whew. Now the brows should be dry, so I just go with my spoolie and, you know, kind of watch how my Wolverine brows kind of disappear. But they kind of keep that um, fluffiness. For the most part, they kind of keep that fluff and that volume. So that is how I do my brows. Not always, just sometimes. Okay, and now for lips, finally, hopefully, um, I'm going to use any lip liner, please. Any, any lip liner. Okay, I'm going to use my favorite, the Jard Cosmetics. It's just a good one. It is almost out. I'm just trying to run through it at this point. It is my favorite, though. It is just so good. I just made a mess, but so good. The color is perfect for me. It's just like a pinkier version of my natural lip color. Oh, this is the shade Sugar and Spice. You can't see it anymore. I just have it memorized. Mm -hmm. Okay, and for lipstick, I'm going to go in with one of my favorite lipsticks ever. It is the, not that one, the Brunch Date from Sephora, the Lip Stories, number one. And then, I don't know what lipstick I want to use today. Okay, I'm just going to go in with my Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow, because why not? And, oh, just perfect. Okay, perfection. I don't even know why I hesitated on that one. And now to finish off my makeup, I'm just going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the Jumbo Size. None of that matters, it's just my favorite. Ooh. It's just what I use when I want my makeup to last all night. Very gently dry my face. Okay guys, and that is it for today's video. Um, this is my holiday look. I am about to head out. I am done officially. My hair is a mess, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone has a very happy, lovely holiday. You know, um, you know stay safe. Um, hopefully, <laughs> um, this isn't New Year's, but hopefully next year will be a better year for everyone. But um, with everything going on, you know, but stay safe, you know. Um, hugs and loves and kisses and everything i love you guys so much thank you for an incredible year with you know <laughs> with everything in consideration um i'm surprised it's been relatively a good year for me but um i know that's not the case for everybody but happy holidays merry christmas i love every i love all of you guys so much i'm sorry i can't talk um i'll see you guys in my next one bye